know, and I, I love that view on it. You know, you're voting with your dollar. That's the only thing you get to vote yeah. with. I, that's how I feel about. You, you can apply it to fucking everything. Yeah. That's how TV works. Mm -hmm. Right. Like everyone mad about news and the news source here. Here's a perspective for that. Like, does that show you're watching run ads? Yes. That's called entertainment. <laughs> mm -hmm. They have to have you watch. So the ads work. So they get paid because you don't pay them. So someone is, you are the product they're selling. If you're, if you're getting a thing for free, you're the product. It's the attention. That's how it works. You're the product. That's why Instagram's free. It's because the eyes there are the product they're selling to companies. Same deal with why the podcast is free, why all mm -hmm. these other things are free, right? It's because the eyes are the product that I'm trying to be able to, to sell or leverage um, and, and help people. Yeah. Right. Like you can, you can do all those things at the same time, provide value, do all that. But like, you have to be aware that that's the gig, that that's what the news channels are doing. If we stop watching and they can't sell advertising dollars, they stop reporting shit news. Yes. It's funny how those people that complain about the news, oh, there's so much negativity, yet they're still fucking watching it and they're part of the problem in this vicious cycle, right? Well, what does it say about us, man, that we're more willing to watch shit we dislike than the stuff we like? Mm -hmm. What does that say about us as a species or as a, as a community or as a country or as a culture? It isn't good. Well, it's, uh, it's we, we can take this deep, right? Mm -hmm. it, it can go into the fact that, you know, have we been programmed that way? Mm. Is it the school systems that we've come up through? Like we can go real deep. And I, I'm married to a public school sure. teacher, and, right? You and, know? <laughs> and, there's a, and there's a lot of just human nature. Yes. Right? That yeah. the, the thing that's an outlier is the one that gets our attention. I bet if you're shit on all the time and someone tells you great job, you give a shit about the guy who said great job. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're trying to do well and most comments are good, the trolls are the ones that get your attention. Yeah. The thing that is contrary to what you think just why people watch the news choices that they, they do, right? And, and if you have a 24-hour yeah. news cycle to fulfill, you got to have stories. I, I know that's how my mind works, right? I try to eliminate that stuff and, and do it, but hey, quick example, nine times, let's say, for example, nine times out of 10, I feel I made great decisions with my kids. I was a good dad. I, I didn't react, took mm -hmm. deep breaths, whatever. It's that one fucking time that I raised my voice that I'm going to dwell on. Right. And I'm going to yeah. beat the shit out of myself for um, how I could be better, let alone those nine other times that there's like, yeah, man, pat on the back. Good job and stuff like that. It's reversing that mentality. And it's hard to do. Well, that, how do you that not habit. get buried by it? Yeah. Because that's that's the other one is like, I know that that one day that you're like, fuck, mm -hmm. you can bury yourself on it. And then it's tough to get out of that hole to be like, OK, just better. Like, do you have any tricks for that? Because so I, I, I know people get killed. Yeah. So the one thing, and I'm, I'm very self-aware in those instances, especially around my kids, right? I'm very self-aware. Like if I react a certain way, it's only a few seconds where I was like, that was not good how I handled that. I'm in this space. We do things. I'm a little bit more, I hate saying the word, but woke to it, right? Sure. You know, and. Well, the, uh, look, aware. Yeah. Aware. I, I believe self-awareness. Yeah. Is, is different than wokeness. Yeah. Especially by definition that we're using now. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm more self-aware in that aspect. And I will dwell on it, but the grace that I give myself is, obviously, I'm not fucking perfect. I'm still learning. And guess what? Tomorrow's a new day. And it doesn't even have to be tomorrow. It's like the next moment is the new moment to decide how you're going to show up, right? So... I've done the work to try to get it to that point. And I think the self-awareness is the key there, right? Because there's guys that'll just eliminate that, all that other nine great things they did in that one. They'll just eat at, eat at, eat at. And then they go down the funnel. Then they go spiral deep. And then they go, they drink that night. And like, they right. take a negative. Dude, have a shitty lunch and then decide yeah. to eat a shitty dinner. Yeah. And you can apply it to, to anything, yeah. right? You know, but it's that self-awareness. Like, no, that was not good. The hard part is actually going back around to the kids or something like that and, be, and apologizing, right? Like, hey, daddy didn't handle that. Yeah, I fucked that up. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Hey, dude, that's a lot. Yeah. It's fucking hot, hell of but, a lot to do that. Dude, yeah. and that's got to teach such an interesting thing because yeah. what that teaches is that it's okay to fuck up. You just have to own it. Yeah. And like big picture of that, 
I, I love that that accountability is something that is is being taught and pushed within you guys group. And like, I try to talk about it here, mm -hmm. this accountability of like, you're allowed to fuck up, but you can't pretend you didn't. Yeah. Like you said, you, you just have to own it. And that's how you learn from it too, right? It's the mistakes that you don't learn from that are going to keep fucking spiraling, spiraling you down into bad times, right? And with, without being political, that's a concern I have of our current climate is mm -hmm. we've we don't like people being able to say, I fucked up. Let me fix it. We, mm -hmm. we don't really allow that. We hang people out as quickly as possible. Yeah. And if, if, if we're going to be that type of a reactionary society to mistakes that mm -hmm. are, I don't, I don't want to use the term elite, but let's just say our people in the yeah. limelight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't even want to say leaders, yeah. but like, fuck it. Because they're not leading. No. They're not fucking right. leading by definition. Our, our elected officials. <laughs> yeah. Semi-elected officials. Um, they, we, we've got to a point that like, yo, if you made a mistake 20 years ago, we're bringing it up and we're trying to fucking hold you to the grindstone for now. Even though clearly you've adapted and changed and mm -hmm. you're not that person and everything tells us that, but I still need you to now remind you and, and fucking, yeah. what are we doing? What the fuck are we doing as a society that yeah. holds people like that? Like, that's not a growth. And so what that's going to create is they're just going to fucking lie to us. Yeah. Because it's easier than realizing that like. To protect their ass. Yeah. Well, well, it's not even protect their ass. It's a realization of like. Okay, so any fuck-ups are unacceptable, so we just can't tell them that we made a fuck-up, and then w because the news is so fucking shit and convoluted on the back end, we'll just let them figure it out, and then they'll all come to their own thing anyway, instead of bothering with the truth on the front end, which we don't want. Mm -hmm. Because if, if we did want that, I do believe that they would address us differently. If we could be trusted, if we could be those type of things. And so I do think a lot of the situation we're in, it's our fault. Fair enough. I don't understand quite how to un, unfuck un it. 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 <laughs> um, other than there has to be a giant shift in consciousness. And that consciousness is an awareness of, you know, people make mistakes. Yeah. And we need to look at progress from mistakes instead of pointing out, remember when you fucked up? Can't trust you now. Yeah. And you need to show empathy, right? You need to show fucking empathy that we, by human nature, we're not fucking perfect. Oh, right? man. Like, look, like I, everything I around that. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a perfect example of empathy that I yeah. find funny and realistic. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of our current presidency. I wasn't a fan of the last one. I'm just not a fan. Right there with him. Right. However, with Joe, I have found some of it funny. I found some of it funny with the last guy and the one prior. Mm -hmm. uh, look, we were told as kids, like it was always a joke that our pol politicians were crooks. This has never changed. I don't know when they swung us on the idea that yeah. they're battling for us. And so I'll just treat them all accordingly. And so like seeing Joe after the Afghanistan debacle and then like being in meetings and there mm -hmm. was one where he's sitting with some other dignitary and falling asleep mm -hmm. uh, or, or seems to be falling asleep. Yeah. I'm not in the guy's room. Yep. Fuck man. Like, like empathy for that. Right. Like, Yo, you can't fall asleep <laughs> on a fucking CNN. <laughs> like, hold, like a meeting, right? Like, hold it together, bro. And not only that, yeah. like, you think this guy who's a career fucking politician who's been in important meetings every day for the last 15 years of his fucking life doesn't understand he can't fall asleep in this meeting? Mm -hmm. Of course he does. But goddamn, being like a 70 plus year old dude, mm -hmm. you're in that suit. This is the same week as Afghanistan. Like, your travel schedule, I bet, is fucking a offensive yeah. yep offensive how much time he spends in that air and then like probably some slightly warmer than normal room and some guys speaking in a language you don't and there's a translator yeah no fucking way i stay awake they, they set him up for fucking <laughs> no there's no amount of coffee or fucking <laughs> cocaine on earth that keeps me awake in that room dude like we would have fucking pumped trump up so fucking loud before he'd have got in there he'd have been vibrating like you're good to go i don't I think I was awake for, I don't think I made it through a single meeting like at my old job right. like without falling asleep because none of it applied to me. So I didn't give a fuck. Of yeah. course, dude. I and like, so like, I, I find it funny. And then for us to harp on the dude about that, like maybe the job's stupid. Yeah. Maybe there's some fucking problems with what we're pretending is important. Yeah, try setting the dude up for success, right? Yeah. Or yourself. There you go. Or people do that. But it's always easier to point. 
Yeah. And that's not the type of group we are either. We're not a group that wants to own it. I'm glad that there's groups like you Mm -hmm. and Rob's or or any of these that we've got to see that there are people out there taking accountability. And a lot of people, you're starting to see it now, these grassroots grassroots movements to this accountability Mm -hmm. and to this responsibility for your place in life and like how to build from it. Guys sharing what's worked. Yeah. That's a really cool change in the climate that's happening.